Hi, welcome to the Brisbane Rangers in Victoria. Today I'm going to show you how to fit a cheap Chinese diesel heater into a rear fold uh, MDC Cape York. Um, so let's get this thing un unpacked and let's see what we've got to play with. Okay, so from inside the camper, um, the only area where you're going to be able to fit this is, is over to the right side. To the left side on the Cape York, you have the, the water pump uh, lives in the, under here. So there isn't really a, a lot of room in there, and there is a lot of nylon pipes, which I don't suppose the heat will do any good. Um, obviously, you've got the drawer system at the front, and across to the back, you have the raised section that the... Um, that the kitchen lives under so there's no real room there to put it either um, so the area where I would suggest it goes is the empty pocket on the right side um, now I've laid the plate in so that the heater fits in there it is quite close to the rear wheel arch on the intake side but there's plenty of air behind it it will draw in okay there um, we'll need to trim out some of the carpet um, because obviously that base plate is going to get hot um, and then working out how to how to route the um, pipe work out to get heat into the cabin is my next issue. Um, now I think I've I think I've solved that as well. Quite a um, quite an easy way of doing it. Um, now that base plate it sits back from the bolts. So you've got the bolts that hold the frame. If you take this bolt, the furthest one back into the middle, and draw a line straight from there. It is approximately somewhere between 405 and 415 mil that that plate needs to start centralised in, in there. Um, I've set this one, I believe, at about 410 mil. Um, you do have to be careful because running underneath um, across the back here is an outrigger, a chassis outrigger, which obviously is going to cause you problems when you go to um, screw it down. So it can't be too far forward. So 405 is the absolute as as far forward as it can go and, and that's that's really close to the outrigger so just move back from there slightly and you'll be better off okay um, next thing is obviously remove the carpet from in here and work out how we're going to fit this here into the into the front of the uh, into the front of the panel and also the um, electrical control panel which I'll go to next okay so I'm just moving this cable out of the way so we can see what we're doing. So the, the issue now is obviously this, it, it needs to go in here somewhere, but I don't want it too far over to the tent because this can blow like 90 degrees out of there. Don't want it catching the tent on fire. And unfortunately the speaker's right in the way here. And it, here is obviously the two outlets. So easy, easy solution to it. And this is, this is just what I'm going to do. This plate, which comes out, is um, is completely symmetrical. So what I'm planning on doing, turn it up the other way, re-drill the holes, it sits on there perfectly. Speaker's still there, your outlets are still there. Speaker's slightly further over. And there you go. Outlet will go straight in there, and actually, I'll probably put the outlet down low and control panel directly above it. So there we have it. That's that solved. Now all I've got to do is um, is bolt it down, get the outlets and connected underneath, drill the hole in the front here, obviously mount up the control panel, 
and then work out where I'm going to put the fuel tank. Okay, let's go to that. So here we are with the uh, diesel heater mounted. And uh, she fits in there quite nice, she's quite snug. Uh, there is room at the back there just for the intake. And I've still yet to connect the corrugated pipe to the front. Um, the main switch panel, and this is how it came out. Obviously it's flipped over, so your, your wiring um, that meets, that, that reaches okay. You do have to put a little extension on your speaker wiring, which you can see that I've done just there. Um, just that literally six inches just to make it so that it reaches uh, and another video coming about these um, standard speakers that they come with which is they're, they're hopeless when you turn them up loud they start to sound like you're playing water under uh, you're playing underwater the control panel fitted nicely and the outlet fits nicely as well um, the wiring to it well obviously the the um, the, the fascia plate it's pretty wide so it just needs to be plugged in right, let's see if i can show you that there you go it's just plugged in and then what i did was i ran the wiring up along the side i've just zip tied it i haven't cut any of this wiring shorter just zip tied it out of the way just nice and neat and i've run it up the back and then across the back of the framework for the bed all the way across and then in the other side and then down the inside uh, and what I've done is I've taken it to the switches. Uh, there is a spare switch there, and I've wired the main power to that spare switch. Uh, actually, that spare switch is already powered, so you've only got to take a feed off of it. So it's very easy. Just pop the whole switch panel out, and away you go. So there we are. Um, next stage is obviously put it all back together. Um, I've also run the wiring underneath and the uh, diesel pump and I will show you that what I've done there okay okay so we've got it all um, back together well pretty much anyway uh, obviously we got um, so that's how she's all set up uh, you may have noticed I've stuck in a different speaker there while I've been at it um, the speakers on these sound like you're playing music underwater so what I've done is um, I've upgraded them to a slightly bigger speaker and a Pioneer. Uh, sound quality, obviously I've only done the one at this stage, uh, but the sound quality is so much better. Um, so that's just a nice little touch while I was in there. Okay, so the control panel, see if I can get this, get a good picture of it. There you go, there's a good picture of it. So to turn it on, it's just this button at the end. When she comes, and now what will happen is um, she'll ramp up, glow plug will come on. Uh, it'll be a while before you start getting the hot air from it, but uh, yeah, you'll hear, the, you'll hear the pump start going, the glow plug will come on, uh, and eventually we'll have nice hot air coming out of here. Just to give you an idea of the um, install on the other side. I'll show you okay so the install this side this is how she'll look from underneath so you've got the exhaust pipe just there and then up under the wheel arch and this is to give you an idea there's only a small distance that it will actually fit so I fitted it like that and tucked up underneath I don't know if I can show you yet there's the air filter up under there that's the intake and now you can see she's firing up. Bit of smoke to start with. I mounted the um, the diesel pump up along the chassis leg, and I ran the diesel tank to the front of the uh, camper just here. So yeah, easily accessible just at the front there all of the pipe work you see I don't know if you can see I'm gonna get in there with the no you can't really see it too easily but yeah run straight through the checker plate and then just up along the chassis so there we go she's running at a high rate at the moment so not too noisy She'll ramp up a bit from here. 
Here we go. It's starting to ramp up a bit more. And this is obviously just in the warm up process. It, um, it soon drops back down again once, once it's up to temperature and the glow plug goes out. Doesn't draw too much ampage. And what we found is um, on the cold on the cold nights we've had this running on low all night just set to around um, 18 degrees and it probably uses out of your diesel tank and there you can see she's really starting to ramp up it probably uses about two inches of diesel out the tank two to three inches if you run it all night so with that in mind let's go back to the tank yeah what we got showing there is two nights worth of running all night and that was um, up at Beechworth it was pretty cold up there and uh, we needed the diesel heater on all night it's um, it doesn't make that much noise once it's once it's um, it's switched down to the glow plug being switched off and the fan drops it's not that noisy so it doesn't keep you awake certainly you, you can barely hear it through the canvas so she's pretty good well, hopefully that uh, video has been of use to you. If there's any comments, any questions that you've got, then obviously drop them in the links below. Uh, we will be doing a trip out to northern Queensland in March, providing the restrictions have lifted. Um, and what we'll be doing is we'll be doing a video diary of the trip out there. It's over three weeks, um, and we intend to video the whole thing. I've got some... I've got a drone and some other bits and pieces that we're going to put together and hopefully show you guys some decent campsites and, and places to go. Uh, so subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, any comments please leave them below. Thank you.